This is navigation to exercise 10.5, question 15. So in this question, we're looking at our position over a journey and then seeing how our position changed due to the currents. And so the question is, you're at a position of 27 degrees 28 minutes south, 153 degrees 35 minutes east. Okay, so somewhere on this map we should be able to find those two positions. After sailing on a heading of 64 degrees for two hours at nine knots, you find your position is 27 degrees 11 minutes south, 153 degrees 51 minutes east. What was your speed and course made good? And what was the current? So the first thing we have is we've got a position and a position. So we know that our boat started off at a position and then it went to another position. Let's see if we can plot those two on the map. So our starting position, 27 minutes, 28 degrees south. So on our line of longitude first, we're measuring down from the equator, and so that's south. We find 27 minutes, uh, sorry, 27 degrees, and we find 28 south. So here is 30 south. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, so six bar, no bar gaps between here and here. So therefore, these bars should be five minutes each. So we go right down to this one, that would be 25 minutes, and we want 28 minutes. Each has one, two, has five chits. So in other words, each little chit would be uh, an extra minute. So here's 25 minutes. So 25 minutes, and so therefore this one right here would be 28 minutes. So that's the one that we want to transfer onto the map. So with our rolling ruler, any line that's horizontal, grab that line, roll down until we get to 28 degree, uh, 28 minutes, and draw a line like that. Hopefully we're either in this direction or in this section because it's out, out to sea. My guess is that we're probably out over, over in here. So let's look at the next part. 153 degrees, 35 minutes. So down the bottom is the line of latitude. 153 degrees is here. 30 minutes is here. And we went one, two, three, four, five, six. So each one of these bars will be one sixth of 30 minutes, which will be five minutes. So we wanted a position of 35 minutes, so this is 30 plus one bar, so that would be 35 minutes. So drawing a parallel line parallel to any horizontal, as any vertical line, would give us a position right about there. So this position right here is where we started off our journey. Now, we ended up a position of 27 degrees 11 minutes. 27 degrees, remember this is 5, 10, and then plus 1, so 11 minutes. Parallel to any line, any horizontal line, rolling down to 11 minutes. So we're somewhere on there. And also then 153 degrees, 51 minutes. So this is 153 degrees, 51, oh sorry, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. 51, so that's what we need to be parallel to. Find any parallel, any parallel line, bring it across, and so we mark our position there. So this is our final position, this is our starting position, and so effectively we've gone this direction right here. Okay, now, the next section. After sailing on a heading of 64 degrees for two hours at nine knots, we find that our position is this final position. Okay, so we think that we've gone 64 degrees for two hours at nine knots. So a knot will be, um, one knot will be one nautical mile per hour. So nine knots over two hours would be 18 knots, or 18, sorry. 18 nautical miles travelled. 18 nautical miles would be the same thing as saying 18 minutes on our map. So we said 27 minutes to 27 degrees to 30 degrees. Each one of these is five minutes. We need to find 18. So that's one, two, three, 
23, it'll be 15, 16, 17, 18. So 18 minutes is that distance. So somewhere on the map we've gone only that far. And already we can see that it didn't go as far as where we ended up. So we want to go at a heading of 64 degrees. So using our rolling ruler and use compass rows, we find 40, 50, 60, 64 is there. So using that bearing, rolling down. Unfortunately, I'm going to hit you in two things. What I can do though is transfer that. Actually, now I might be able to just do it from the other side. That might be easy. Rolling it down until it hits our starting position. And we say this is where we should have headed out. We should have headed out this direction and we should have headed out that far. So we started very close to the point lookout and we went there. And so that's where we finished up. Right there. Okay. So now we have two lines. This is where we actually have turned up and this is going to be our where we expected to head. Okay. So let's have a look at our questions now. What was our speed and course made good? Okay. And the last part was what was the current? So the first thing is the current is the only thing that's taken us, the current and the wind and, and so forth. The current has taken us from where we expected to turn out to where we actually turned out. So effectively, this line here represents the current. Okay. So this one here is... This one here is our course made good. That's actually what we did do. This one is what we're expecting to do. And it got modified by the current. Okay. So now what we need to do now is find what was our speed and course made good and what was the current. So let's look at speed and course made good first. So in other words, we thought we were going at a bearing of 60... Pardon me, 60 four degrees, um, travelling at nine knots over two hours. But in fact, we actually went this bearing here. So let's find out what that bearing is. Grab our rolling ruler and roll back to our compass rows. So if we started here in the middle and we went that direction, we would have gone at 40 degrees. So in other words, our course made good. bearing equals 40 degrees because that's the direction we actually went. Now let's figure out how far we went. So once again using our dividers we can measure from our original point to our final point and we see that it is that distance. So this distance converted over onto the lines of longitude starting at something nice and easy like say that 27 degrees I can see that I've come down to about here. So down here is 30 minutes. So we go 5, 10, 15, 20. And that looks like, say, uh, it's possibly 22 and a half. So 22 and a half minutes, which converts into 22 and a half nautical miles. So our course made good bearing was that distance equals 22.5 nautical miles. Okay, 22.5 nautical miles. Now we remember we've been going for two hours and so if we've gone 22.5 nautical miles over two hours, our knots, our speed then would be represented as whatever distance we travelled over one hour. So effectively we're just going to divide this by two. So speed equals distance over time equals 22.5 nautical miles over two hours and that will give us an answer of 
11.25 knots and a knot is a nautical mile per hour. So we have of course made good a bearing of 40 degrees and a speed of 11.25 knots. Okay, so that's the first section done. Next one. What was the current? So the same thing goes, we're looking at, instead of this distance, which was our course made good, is that we should have finished here, or we were expecting to finish here, but we were moved from here to here by the current. And so we can say that the current has a direction, which is this way, and it also has a distance. So, once again, let's have a look at the bearing of the current. Anything parallel to that, bring it back onto the compass rose, which means that starting here, the, the current was taking us at 350 degrees. So down here, we can say the current bearing was 350 degrees. Okay, and we then also need to find out the distance. So, using our dividers, expand them out until we get the distance of that line. And once again, over to our lines of longitude, measuring from a nice neat number, and that looks very, very close to, what's that, 10 minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, so that will do. So we've gone 10 minutes distance equals 10 minutes, which would be 10 nautical miles on a line of longitude. So once again, what is the speed of the current? Speed equals distance over time, which will be 10 over 2, the same thing as before, 10 nautical miles over 2 hours equals 5 knots. Okay, so we have a current bearing of 350 degrees and a current speed of 5 knots.